Good afternoon, everybody, or good morning, as the case may be, and welcome to Trinity Six Form Academy's Remote Assembly. My name is Mike Fitzsimons, and I'm the principal at TSFA, and we'll try and cover three things through this presentation. Number one will be what life is like at, at Trinity Six Form. Um, number two, we'll talk to you about how you can apply, about what courses we offer, and what a typical day is like at, at TSFA. And then lastly, we'll try and put you in touch with, with some of our students through our live Q&A webinar and also to our, our social media pages so you can find out a little bit more about the institution. Hi, my name is Lucy Smith and I'm a senior personal progress tutor here at Trinity and I'm here today to tell you why we think you should pick Trinity. We're really lucky that we're located right in the town centre, which makes it very accessible for people by bus and also by train. We're also surrounded by a whole host of shops, the Peace Hall, restaurants, and more importantly for you guys, the biggest question asked, McDonald's and Subway's across the road. We're really lucky here at Trinity that we've got a brand new purpose-built building. Staff have had a huge input in terms of what they think that students studying at further education require in order to be able to succeed in their studies. We have a wonderful art barn, performing arts space, the restaurant, science labs, and lots of other facilities for students to use. Our facility and resources are amazing with a whole host of access to ICT to allow students to achieve in both creative and academic subjects. We believe that it's this combination of excellent facilities and resources along with our superb staff body and the students that study here that have allowed us to get the best results in the whole of Calderdale in terms of progress. However, we don't think that's what makes us truly unique. We firmly believe that our top three qualities lie in our culture, which is largely to do with, with the students that we've got. Um, number two, the, the level of personalisation that we offer through our pastoral teams and through the teachers themselves. And number three, just the general quality of our staff. Um, our staff are, are absolute experts in their, in their subject fields. Our mission is really clear and it's understood by all. It's to develop life ready learners and we take a triangulated approach in, in doing that. Firstly, we strive to develop powerful knowledge among, amongst our students. So this is the knowledge that you wouldn't otherwise have access to if you didn't come to the sixth form. And it's knowledge that's passed on to you through, through teachers that are experts in their field. Secondly, is our professional standards. Now we have four professional standards as an academy, mental toughness, attention to detail, work ethic and integrity. And they're the four qualities that, that we think are really important. The idea with the professional standards is that students develop their own so that when you leave us in two years time, you know what your qualities are, you know what your strengths are as an individual and you know what your areas for improvement are and that you try and model these standards throughout your lives. And the last one is our civic virtues. So this requires that students strive to give something back to society. When you're accessing level three A levels or level three B techs and going on to universities or to do higher degree apprenticeships, you're at a tier within society which is a little bit higher academically than your average. So we believe as an institution that that, that comes with some responsibility to try and, and, and give something back. Hello, my name is Mrs. Golding Smith, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the courses that we have on offer here at Trinity Six Farm Academy. We pride ourselves on the vast array of courses and wider curriculum opportunities that we have available here at the Six Farm. The opportunities we have available to you comprise of our core curriculum, which is what you would be used to in your current high school, which are the subjects that you choose to study here and also our wider curriculum. We believe that the two work in parallel with each other and help develop you as a life ready learner. We offer a broad core curriculum which consists of 26 different A-level courses and eight different BTEC courses, all of which can be seen on our website. Our entry requirement to access the sixth form provision is five grade fours or above, including English and maths. Each of our subjects have their own individual entry requirement though, 
and I urge you to look onto our website to find out exactly what these are. We also give you the opportunity to study further subjects, including an extended project, which is crucial, particularly when you're moving on to university. It's a research-based project that teaches you valuable skills involved in that higher education level of study. Once you've chosen your core curriculum, one of the common questions that we get asked is, what will my timetable look like? The average sixth farmer here at Trinity Sixth Farm has 18 hours a week of allocated time on their timetable. This includes five hours per subject you choose to study. And we encourage you to choose three options. This is more than sufficient for any university course you may be interested in pursuing. On top of your five hours of face-to-face -face time with your teachers, your teacher will also set you five hours of independent study, and that is per subject. It's effectively homework, and there's a whole host of research that's been produced to show how crucial this is to maximising your potential within your subjects. We also run a range of achieve sessions, which can be small group sessions or one-to-one -one sessions per subject. Again, all about giving you the support at the right times to fully prepare you for your exams. We have a fantastic achievement centre here, which is fully resourced. And at times throughout the courses, we encourage students to work in there and these can be seen as consolidation or reading periods and these are allocated as and when we feel they are necessary. Hopefully by now you'll have realised that we've covered a lot of the frequently asked questions that you get. However, a couple of questions you might still have. Can I change my course when I've started? Yes, absolutely. We always offer a two week, three week window right at the start of term. So if you realise that you've picked something that hasn't turned out quite the way you hoped it would be, you've got that opportunity to speak to your personal progress tutor, speak to your teachers and make an alternative choice if that's what's best for you. Equally, you might be wondering, well, which subject should I pick? We'd always advise you to pick things that you enjoy. Don't pick what you think you should. And the worst decisions are probably made when you pick something you've been told to pick. If you go with what you enjoy, then you will find success. So along with your core curriculum, you'd also access the wider curriculum, um, which is five different opportunities encompassed by a scheme that we call graduation. So onto the five different opportunities, you've got enrichment, which at the moment is 38 different activities that you can take part in. Some of them are purely from enjoyment and, and others constitute awards or qualifications, like for example, the first aid award or the BSL sign language award. Whereas other students might opt to play for the football team, for example, it all counts towards enrichment. Personal development are seminars that are run through the PPT team. Um, work experience and volunteering, all students take part in volunteering and work experience as part of TSFA. Um, we have a work experience week, the back end of year 12, but we also like students to take on ad hoc um, placements when they can around their studies. Leadership is for some students, it's not for everybody, um, and that's primarily through the pupil leadership group, which you're nominated into. And then we also offer cultural capital experiences that we want students to, to achieve and to work towards. We measure that through graduation. So on a, on a termly basis, you check in with your PPTs as to how you're performing against the graduation criteria. And, and that then enables you to graduate year 12 successfully. The Pupil Leadership Group is a group of students that's been nominated by the student body and it's headed by a head boy, a head girl and two deputies. And the Pupil Leadership Group, or PLG as we call it, is responsible for bringing about change within the academy, um, leading on local initiatives and charity events, and then also just raising the profile of the academy through events. Hi, my name is Miss Ashton and I'm the careers leader here at TSFA. One of the big advantages to our location is the link with local employers, one of the main ones being Conveyor Insurance. As well as being somewhere where students gain part-time employment or apprenticeships, they also come into the college and deliver sessions with our students on topics such as interview skills, communication skills and how to prepare for the world of work. We've also gained work experience at local places such as Eureka. 
Now, I said before that one of our biggest strengths as an academy is the, the personalised support that we can offer. Um, so I'm going to hand over to one of my assistant principals to talk you through what that support looks like. So all of our students are assigned a personal progress tutor and they're kind of like ahead of year really. They're responsible for your pastoral and academic progress um, during your time at Trinity. In addition to PPT, you have access to members of our safeguarding and wellbeing team. Um, so they're there to provide additional support um, should you need them. I said at the start that I try and put you in touch with, with social media, our website and various other things that we've got online. Key areas for you to look at, I suppose. Number one is our website. So if you just type in Trinity Sixth Form Academy and we'll come up straight away. The second one, which you probably don't know about, is our Padlet page. So if you type in Trinity Sixth Form Academy Padlet or you, you follow the links um, that I've sent out to your institution, your school, um, you can access a page that gives you information about our specific subjects. And it actually gives you 10 weeks worth of lessons or resources. And obviously there's no obligation for you to submit any of the work that you do or or have it marked or anything like that. But the idea is that we give you a taste of what sixth form provision is like at subject level. Um, and you've also got an opportunity on there to contact some of our teachers if you've got any subject specific questions. We've got our Instagram page, we've got our Twitter page, which you can see the thumbnails of on your screen now as well. I'm, I'm told that we're gonna have a TikTok account relatively soon, but I think it's important that you follow us on these social media uh, platforms so that you can keep up to speed with, with some of the stuff that's going on. Hi, I'm Sufyan. I'm here on behalf of the Pupil Leadership Group. This is Shazna and this is Dylan. And we're hosting a live event where you prospective students can come talk to us. It's on 10th of February, 2021. It's a very strange slide to incorporate into a presentation like this, but it's something that I thought we needed to do just in case COVID-19 runs on for, for longer than, than we think it might, which I'm sure we'd all agree it has done so far. Um, our track record with COVID, we've, we've been big on risk mitigation, so there's been an abundance of um, hand sanitizers, of anti back wipes, of risk assessment and practices within the academy to make it as safe as possible. And we've done a great job with that. We've gone for 100% face-to-face delivery from September to January, so we didn't do any rotors with students, we didn't do any kind of block timetable changes. It was just the same provision that we'd always give, but done in a, in a safe and socially distanced way. Um, at the moment with the lockdown, so from January, we're offering 100% remote lessons that are live, um, which students are really appreciating. And we're also offering lateral flow testing as well. So on to the big thing, how do you apply for TSFA? Well, you just visit our website. It's really straightforward. If you click on the apply tab and follow the instructions that are there. Um, and obviously, if, if you're stuck with anything, get in touch with us. The big piece of information that you need to know, the deadline is Sunday, 21st of February. Hi, I'm Shazna Ali, the Deputy Head Girl. If you've got any questions about your application, don't be afraid to contact the Academy. Good luck. And with that, I just wanted to say thank you for listening. It's, it's lovely to be able to speak to you, albeit remotely. Do say, stay safe and I hope to see you all in the future. Thank you.